Dear colleagues, greetings to everybody. It is our great pleasure to have the opportunity to present at this conference. My name is Laura Petronic Petrovic, and together with my colleagues, Biljana Tešić and Sonia Oroševic, I'm going to present the, our paper, The Impact of Freelance on the Business in the IT Sector in Serbia. The aim of our paper uh, was to understand and explore the new way of doing business, as well as to explore the impact of freelance and full-time workers in IT sector in our country. Well, first a few words about uh, uh, freelancing in general. Uh, uh, many young uh, uh, people in search of independence and financial security, flexible working hours, uh, turn, to, turn to freelance as a way of doing business. Uh, it helps them uh, to choose the type of job based on their knowledge and skills and their interests, as well as uh, to have a so-called laptop lifestyle, uh, which means that they can do their job anywhere uh, or everywhere, as long as uh, it is done with quality and by the agreed deadline. The term freelancer implies the periodic engagement of workers in certain jobs, and maybe it is good to cite uh, uh, Margaret Weister, uh, the vice president of European Commission, uh, who said that the concept of worker and the self-employed in today's labor markets have been blurred, which is why many are forced to accept at the contract as self-employed. Except of becoming uh, self-employed or freelancers um, uh, because uh, of having no other choice, uh, a lot of young people also op opt for this uh, uh, profession uh, based on their vague idea of benefits of this way of working, uh, such as uh, flexible, uh, for example, flex flexible uh, working hours. Uh, overlooking that uh, it easily turns into the unpaid overtime. Freelance business includes journalists, developers, translators, language, uh, foreign language teachers, and uh, uh, dominant occupation, uh, uh, which is more, most often related to IT technologies, uh, are web and graphic designers, uh, mobile application and computer game develop developers, and uh, others. Uh, freelancers are looking uh, for jobs on uh, job markets uh, or sites. And uh, uh, there they choose uh, projects. Often one project is chosen by several freelancers while the employer chooses who to give the project to. Employers can leave a rating or a comment on their profiles, which gives the freelancer good marketing and a better chance of, of being selected. According to study by the European Foundation for the Improvement of Living and Working Conditions, excuse me, nine broad types of new forms of work can be identified, among which ICT-based mobile work occupies a significant place. Freelance jobs are offered on a number of sites. Still, some of the most popular are, uh, and visited are Upwork and Freelancer. Millions of jobs are published annually on these platforms, and uh, uh, through them, freelancers can offer their skills and knowledge in more than 70 business categories. Registration on the mentioned sites is free and easy. Uh, freelancer uh, based on the placed advertisement of employer independently chooses to whom he will offer his services or in which projects he wants to be engaged. All one has to do is to fill in the public profile and apply for the desired job. All projects and payments are made through the, these platforms and it cannot happen that the employer does not pay the freelancer. Fees are also negotiated through the platform. The price of using the platform's services is not fixed. The more time a freelancer is hired by the same client, the less money the platform will take. These two sites, uh, Freelancer and Upwork, are certainly not uh, the only freelance platforms. The freelancer can also offer her, his services or her services on sites that offer jobs exclusively from a certain area of business. 
As far as legal uh, uh, aspects are concerned, when it comes to tax liabilities to the home country, in order to do business in the already mentioned way and provide earnings usually from abroad, freelancers have the following op uh, options. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, to do the payment of withholding tax on each individual individually received income from abroad. That means that 30 days after the job is done, the freelancer has the opportunity to pay taxes to the state on the earned uh, income. Uh, in other words, it, uh, it, it means that uh, he has to pay for each realized job. And uh, it is usually uh, done uh, when the freelancer uh, when freelancer doesn't have many payments per month. Uh, the disadvantage of this type is that the it is the most expensive type of taxation. Uh, the next one, uh, the next option is uh, registration of entrepreneurial activity and flat taxation, uh, which means that uh, uh, a freelancer is registered in the Agency for Business Registers of Serbia, and uh, there he chooses uh, flat tax. That means that uh, he uh, has to pay taxes and contributions immediately after the first day of registration, regardless of whether uh, they uh, uh, generate the income or not. Uh, in, in such a way, a freelancer has health insurance and uh, 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 the, the way he, he, would, uh, he would have it uh, in, if he would uh, be uh, full-time employed. Uh, the third option is entrepreneurial business registration and profit taxation, which means that uh, the uh, freelancer has uh, to keep business books or to have an accountant. And in this case, uh, uh, he has to start paying obligations from the first day uh, of the registration. Uh, uh, so the difference between the uh, the previously mentioned option and this one is uh, that it depends uh, on uh, the, 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 the way of paying taxation depends on the amount of the income. Also, uh, uh, freelancers can uh, sign contracts or uh, 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 they can um, uh, be contracted. Uh, which is not uh, uh, uncommon. And uh, uh, the contracts here are defined as uh, contracts of temporary and occasional jobs, uh, according to which the freelancer does not have all the rights he would otherwise have as an employee. In Serbia, in October 2020, the Ministry of Finance of the Republic of Serbia tax administration issued a statement that uh, there was a uh, uh, there was a, a high rate a high rate of non compliance uh, between the payments uh, from abroad uh, uh, received from abroad of tax paid and, and uh, tax paid by self taxation. So they um, uh, issued a statement that all those who failed to file tax returns uh, should do so on their own initiative in order to settle all obligations in the name of taxes and contributions with the interest. This announcement provoked a violent reaction from freelancers themselves as well from citizens associations that are committed to relaxing the business conditions of the domestic economy, especially in digital economy. Uh, to make matters even more difficult for freelancers, there is only a small number of domestic NGAOs uh, that study their position and advocate for improving the legal framework for their work or from their labor. Uh, probably uh, one of the reasons for such treatment is that uh, freelancers in Serbia are often referred to as digital workers, uh, which means that they are uh, people who work with the help of online platforms, uh, neglecting the fact that freelancers should include all those who occasionally uh, work for more than one employer. Uh, maybe the, the situation is such because uh, even in, in uh, European Union, 
there is no uh, developed set of standards uh, governing the position and rights of freelancers, although it is estimated that the number of freelancers in the uh, European Union between 2008 and 2015 increased by as much as 24%. Our survey was conducted uh, uh, or included uh, 82 respondents of which 42 were freelancers and 40 were full-time employees of different ages. Uh, the survey had uh, the aim of the survey was to analyze how freelancing as a modern way of doing business that is becoming more and more popular in Serbia affects the IT sector having in mind a significant number of IT experts in the total uh, number of freelancers. Also, the aim of this paper was to, uh, using comparative analysis, determine the difference in status and views uh, between freelancers and full-time employees in the IT sector. The research was conducted from the 31st of May to, to the 16th of June, 2020. And the instrument uh, for doing it, it was a survey with closed and open-ended questions, uh, which used the uh, Likert scale. Uh, freelancing in, uh, in, in Serbia, uh, while well, the popularity of, of online jobs uh, in Serbia uh, is uh, moving almost linearly, uh, along with the growth of global internet users, and uh, there were in 2017 about 100,000 freelancers worked in Serbia and about 45,000 IT experts were employed in IT sector. Uh, a survey from 2019 showed that Serbia is the 10th country in the world and the third in Europe in terms of revenue growth when it comes to freelancing. Uh, which we can um, see in this in this picture, uh, considering that the leading countries uh, are America, Great Britain, Brazil, uh, uh, India, Philippines, uh, which have significantly more inhabitants and some of them, uh, some of them even a higher standard of living, the position of Serbia is very surprising. In 2018, Serbian revenues from external IT services exceeded 1 billion euros. Well, the, uh, the results of our research were, were next. Age of respondents uh, was uh, somehow um, um, uh, balanced. Uh, as we can see, a very small percentage of permanent employees in IT sector uh, uh, were younger than than 23, while on the other hand, there were a few freelancers over 40. So both groups are mostly between 24 and 40 years old. When it comes to level of education, uh, the situation is a bit uh, uh, in, uh, in pro full-time employees. Although uh, it, uh, the, conclu the conclusion could be uh, that the higher education is very important, but not crucial, especially if we are talking about freelancing. Uh, for example, uh, if we compare uh, respondents with a completed master's degree or even a higher title, the results show that 20% of freelancers have a completed master's degree, while on the other hand, 25% uh, um, of full employed, full time employed uh, uh, respondents uh, have a master's degree. Uh, profession of respondents, the usually both uh, uh, professions, both uh, um, groups, uh, uh, in both groups, uh, uh, the most uh, um, frequent uh, professions are software developer, web designer, graphic designer, 3D modeling, and data analyst. Uh, well, uh, maybe 
it's uh, interesting to say that the uh, percentage of uh, uh, respondents uh, who are engaged in 3D uh, modeling uh, and uh, is almost identical. 10% of respondents from the group, uh, from the freelancers uh, group, uh, and 11% uh, uh, from the group of uh, full time employed uh, are engaged in 3D modeling. Working hours of respondents, this was one of the issues in which the difference uh, between freelancers and full-time employees is most uh, uh, noticeable. Uh, all in all, uh, freelancers have much more flexible working hours as opposed to full-time employees uh, who spend more time uh, at work. Earnings uh, uh, of uh, respondents to, uh, to working hours, while the, the respondents had to grade uh, the, uh, the, the, the uh, they had to grade these, uh, these questions, let's call them so, uh, with the grades from one to five, where one was the lowest grade and five was uh, the, the highest grade. And uh, uh, in uh, this way, they showed how much they are uh, and whether they are satisfied with the ratio of their earnings uh, uh, comparing to working hours. Uh, grades one and two uh, 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 represented uh, dissatisfaction with the ratio of wages and working hours, as I already said, and only 5% of full-time employees gave a grade two and no one gave a grade uh, one. Uh, but uh, uh, on the other hand, freelancers uh, did not give a grade two, uh, but 5% uh, of them um, were not satisfied with this ratio and gave the uh, grade one uh, to it. Uh, free time of the respondents, uh, while here more than half of the employees from both groups uh, are satisfied with their uh, free time. Uh, when it comes to business environment, uh, this was uh, one of the most interesting topics uh, uh, in this comparison. Um, uh, as we can see, um, uh, freelancers are in most cases satisfied with working from home uh, and none of the freelancers gave a grade uh, one or two to their business environment. Among uh, full-time employees, no respondents gave a grade one. Uh, possibility of progress, uh, well, uh, as many as 65% uh, of, of freelancers answered that the possibility of adma advancement is great. So from these pie, cha pie charts, we can see that uh, uh, it is potentially easier for freelancers to progress in their business while full-time employees still have more difficulties. Satisfaction with the work, well, uh, as uh, these uh, pie charts show, uh, uh, there is a slightly more, uh, uh, there are slightly more free free freelancers, sorry, who are satisfied with their work uh, compared to full-time employees. Uh, possibility to change the way uh, uh, of, of uh, respondents' work or uh, the, the, the answer to question, if you could, would you swap place with the freelancer or a full-time employee? Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, some kind of natural that uh, freelancers, 80% uh, of freelancers answered that they would not change uh, with full-time employees. Uh, but surprisingly, 60% of full-time employees uh, said that they would uh, change with uh, freelancers. So there is a very high percentage of full-time employees who would like to change with freelancers. And uh, their uh, opinion on IT sector in Serbia is that uh, uh, the development of IT sector in Serbia um, uh, of both groups uh, is, uh, is actually similar. Um, the small percentage of them uh, thinks that IT sector in Serbia is sufficiently developed. 
only five, fifteen percent of uh, freelancers and ten percent of uh, full-time employees. Uh, but the general conclusion could be that uh, half of freelancers believe that the IT sector in Serbia is not sufficiently developed, while full-time employees are dominated by the opinion that it could be better developed. And the conclusion is that um, after this uh, research, that the impact of freelancing on the IT sector in Serbia uh, is very uh, actually that the freelancing is a very desirable way of working, despite the fact that freelancers uh, encounter various difficulties. Uh, the results also showed that many challenges that are faced by freelancers in most cases become advantages that prevent freelancers from seeking permanent employment. Uh, especially because a good freelancer is not only exceptional in his work, but also in other fields that he needs to uh, for his uh, way of working. Uh, although freelancers do not have satisfactory financial security, unlike full-time employees who receive monthly earnings, at, fir at first glance, it seems like a simple and flexible way of working, uh, but we have to have in mind that the uh, that this profession requires the possession of a number of professional competences and skills as well as constant improvement serbian freelancer freelancers are looking for their jobs on global job market sites so the impact of their work is not reflected on the it sector in serbia based on the fact that most employees would change with freelancers, which is a very interesting fact, it follows that uh, freelancing is the future of business, not only in the IT sector in Serbia, but also in many other areas. Uh, we have the confirmation of that in uh, the past, uh, hopefully past uh, COVID-19 pandemic, where freelance, uh, freelancers continued to do their job without any hindrance. Um, uh, about the IT sector in Serbia, uh, there is opinion that it is not developed at a satisfactory level, level and that it could be improved, uh, that it, it also is not nearly developed uh, compared to more developed countries in Europe and in the world. Uh, this uh, can be an advantage, but also a disadvantage, because uh, foreign clients mostly opt for our Serbian IT companies and freelancers because of their expertise, but uh, also a la lower labor costs. So what needs to be worked on is to create opportunities for our IT experts to be valued as much as those in more developed countries and therefore adequately paid. Freelance in Serbia could be additionally encouraged by reforming existing laws, bearing in mind that freelance has been present for many years and that the number of freelancers is higher every year. Um, it, fo um, it follows that freelance positively affects our economy, but the fact that the uh, earnings are of freelancers come from abroad and are spent in our country are also favorable. Uh, taking into account uh, the interest of IT experts uh, in freelancing in, um, uh, and its advantages, it can be concluded that freelancing is the future of business in the IT sector in Serbia. Uh, I wish uh, to thank you for your attention in the name of my colleagues and myself. And if you have any questions, uh, please, you can send uh, them to our email addresses, which uh, we have listed here. Thank you very much and uh, good day to everybody.